Terrific. Thank you all for joining us today, today's forum, to promote college access and affordability. I especially want to thank and recognize Senator Chris Coons for his leadership and persistence in reintroducing the American Dream Accounts Act in Congress, along with Senator Marco Rubio. These senators are demonstrating that even in these challenging times, challenging political climate, there are Democrats and Republicans willing to work together to secure a better future for the next generation. My name is Mark Edwards. I'm the executive director of Opportunity Nation. We are a national bipartisan coalition of 250 national organizations, businesses, educational institutions, civic organizations that have come together to work on expanding economic opportunity and mobility in this country. Collectively, our partners work with, support, and, and nurture 100 million Americans in every corner of the country. United Way Worldwide, America's Promise Alliance, Jobs for the Future, Europe, and CFED are among our partners in this work, along with businesses and higher education councils around the country. As many of you know, a child born today, a low-income child in Canada and many European countries, stands a better chance of improving his or her economic condition than they do a similar child born here in the U.S. We've spoken with young people around this country who tell us that in the zip codes where they're born, there are more smoke shops than grocery stores. And one young woman who told me that the numbers in her zip code, she felt, were gonna be more important to her future than the numbers in her GPA. This is not our shared vision of the American dream. So at the core of Opportunity Nation is the idea that in America, no matter who you are, if you work hard, you should be able to improve your lot in life. Without opportunity, our country will never thrive. And we've learned that one of the most powerful factors in opportunity is making sure that young adults, aged 16 to 24, have a chance to stay in school and to work. And because we know how central this is, we are focusing on policies as an organization that can help make sure that more young people have a strong pathway to connect to education and employment. And there's actually bipartisan agreement about this idea, which is what today is really all about. We know that some form of post-secondary education and credentials are essential for young people to succeed. We must do all we can to make sure that young people have a chance to jumpstart the American dream. We're thrilled to be co-hosting this event with our friends at CFED, the leading voice in savings and asset development as a strategy to expand economic opportunity. The CFED team has invested significantly in the Opportunity Nation campaign, serving our steering committee and helping inform our policy recommendations. And so for decades, CFED has really led the way in these issues, and I'm thrilled to have them with us here co-sponsoring this event. To speak more about their work and the specific policy ideas that are here today, I'd like to introduce the leader of this great partner organization, the president of CFED, Andrea Levere.